Hey everybody, Stone Darter Studios. Posted a picture of a dress earlier that I saw on Amazon that inspired a pour. Um, I got my colors out. This is an 11 by 14. It's going to be a plastic cling wrap, plastic pour, plastic wrap, lift, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start with the white with silicone on the bottom. And I got my colors. These are colors that were already mixed. Pumpkin orange, bright magenta, cobalt blue, spring green, Caribbean blue, black, white with silicone. And the only two I had to mix was my princess purple and my sunbeam yellow. And these were both uh, Apple Barrel 50 cent bottles at Walmart. These were all the big bottles at Walmart, which cost $2.50 a piece, um, which are the bigger ones, the Apple Barrel bigger ones. This is a you know, replacement bottle when I'm done with that Caribbean. But these big ones are only two fifty and the little ones are fifty cents. So it's not that expensive to get started if you're just now starting out your painting career. Um, I've only been doing this for like six months. So um I'm still new also. Let me get my rag wet. That's why I have something to wipe my hands off with. Down to that, and here we go. I'm going to move all of my colors to, whoops, and I also use, whoops, I'm going to do it again. I also use a muffin pan to hold my colors, like when I mix my colors like this, because I am notorious for dumping, spilling, etc. So, to help you not spill, get an old tin or buy a new one from the Dollar Tree. It's only a dollar. I get a lot of my materials that I use from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's not expensive to get materials at all these days with Dollar Tree and Dollar General and all these other dollar stores. So, okay, I looked at the dress on the um, picture really, really well. And I'm trying to remember exactly where those colors were. Let me get whatever this is off my canvas. There we go. Got the cups down there to keep this off. I see I accidentally ordered panels and I didn't order stretched canvas. These are canvas panels. I got to use them. I ordered them. I might as well just get them used, right? So then I can buy some canvas, um, stretched canvas. Anywho. Um, we're going to start with the white with silicone because I do want some cells. And this has got silicone in it. I do one with silicone and then I have my white without silicone. So I have one of each. I also keep a gallon of white and black mixed at all times because you never know when you're going to run out. I buy a gallon of paint from Walmart. Regular old acrylic white paint. And then put my flow mix in, and I make that by the gallon also. So, um, there's some things you're going to want to get mixed by the gallon, like your black and white, your flow, because it's hell in the middle of a, of a pour when you need flow and you run out of your flow. Um, I always keep two bottles of flow, so I have a backup, always. Because you have to stop and mix flow, that's just irritating. So, we're going to start. I've already shaken this up. I'm going to start by getting some white on my canvas. Okay. Don't need a whole lot. And then spatula. And I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. Make sure my canvas is covered. And it's white on white. So, you know, you don't have to be perfect. Nothing's perfect. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. Katie, why are you barking, baby girl? I think that's just a garbage truck. 
Yeah, she barks at the slightest noise. She's a little dog, so she's, you know, a little dog. <laughs> she's a little dog, so she barks at everything. All right, let me go rinse this off. Because I do not like dry paint on my nice instruments. And it might take me a couple extra, extra seconds, but I like to clean my stuff. Okay, now I'm going to try to put these colors on here the way I remember them on that dress. This is going to be pretty cool. This is going to be a uh, cling wrap. So I'm going to put these colors down and then um, lay cling wrap on top and then pull it off. So... Uh, at the top of the corner was some purple. That was at the top. And you can see with the white, with the silicone underneath, um, it's already coming up with some cells. Um, and then we had... There was some yellow on this shoulder over here. We'll do yellow over here. And I don't want to put a lot on here because I want this on a negative background, a white negative background. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be very pretty. And then we got some orange. Uh, wait a minute. The orange was down below. No, no, no. We had the green next. <laughs> I'm trying to remember that picture of that dress. Okay. Um... We had some green, and we had some pretty blue, mix that together, and then we had um, a little bit of cobalt underneath that, a little bit of darker blue. Pretty cool, I think. And then we had some more purple. Oh, that was a lot of purple on that dress. So let's just string some of this around. And then we're going to put some orange in here. So we had some orange. Oops, got to take the lid off first, huh? Yeah, I'm going to get goofy sometimes. We had some orange. And I know we had some yellow down here in the corner with the orange. Okay. And then we had some really pretty pinks on the corners. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of black for some depth. See if I can get some depth. Not a whole lot, just a little. bit of black, a little bit of black, a little bit of black there, and there, and it doesn't matter, you know, just go with what your gut's telling you to do, doesn't matter what you do, as long as you love it, and eventually, somebody else will love it too, and they'll want to buy it from you. Make a page for yourself, you know, like I've done. The Stone Darter Studios page. Um, it's where I display most of my stuff. All my videos go up on YouTube. And then I get them posted on my page. So you've got to work for yourself and figure out your marketing strategy and what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. 
because you can make a little bit of money doing this. At least get the money back, what you're spending on your uh, on your materials, which is all I'm doing. I'm just having fun. Just enjoying myself and having fun. Okay, here we go. Cling wrap. Brains to break. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. All right. Uh, I think I got all my colors on there. We're gonna straighten our, our cling wrap out. Make sure it lays down straight on our canvas. Okay. Here we go. Cling wrap. And lay it down. And press it. And press it. And press it. And press it. Just keep pressing it. Down, down, down. And yeah, you're going to get an air bubble. So just move that out of there. And then go along and just do this. Because you don't know what's going to happen when you pull it up. You have no idea what this is going to look like. All you can see is what you originally put down underneath your cling wrap. Okay, here we go. We're going to lift it. Here we go. What are we going to get? That's pretty cool. And of course, I just got paint all over myself. That's pretty cool right there. Now we're going to do some heat gun. Get some more cells. Pop some bubbles. This is a pretty abstract here actually. Quite pretty. Light to dark. Light to dark. It's really, really pretty. Getting a few cells here and there from the bubbles popping and colors coming out from underneath. So this is really pretty on a white negative background. I'm really happy with this one. It's a great abstract. Okay. Now, I'm going to take down the camera so you guys can see the close-up of it. Isn't that pretty? And actually, I like it like that. I like to hang, probably hang it like that. Sign it on that bottom right corner. And yes, I know there's a light over it because that's my light. But I think this has come out really, really well. Okay, everybody have a beautiful day. Bye.